This is lesson 48, BHDL example 29. In the last example, you remember we used the plus sign to make a 4-bit adder. It'd be nice to be able to make an n-bit adder using a plus sign. And in fact, that's easy to do, as we'll see in this uh, lesson. Here's a VHDL program. We'll call it Adder VHD. This is one that uh, you might want to use. We'll just make it an n-bit one by using our generic statement we've seen before. So in the entity we put generic n integer colon 8. Now a is an input n minus 1 down to 0, b is an input n minus 1 down to 0, and y is an output n minus 1 down to 0. The 8 was just default. We've seen in the past how you can set it to whatever value you want. When you do a port map statement you'll get a generic map statement there. So in the architecture all you say is y is just a plus b. It's that easy. Now in this case of course we don't bring out the carry flag and overflow flag. We saw in the last lesson how you could do that if you wanted by just making the size of a and b you know, one bit bigger than you need. Well, let's do a simulation to see if this works. Here's the 8-bit one. So a is 8 bits. These are hex values. And we're adding it to hex 33. And y is 1, 1 plus 3, 3 is 44. 3, 3 plus 3, 3 is 6, 6. And so forth. 7, 7 plus 3, 3 is a, a. So that's the easy way to make a, a, uh, an adder. Now, what's really going on here? Well, I told you you needed that unsigned uh, BHD program from the IEEE library, so you need to have this statement at the beginning of your program. And this unsigned is a VHD program which calls an Aerith VHD program. And in that Aerith, it shows you what happens when you call, make a plus sign. It turns out a plus sign calls this function plus, where the parameters are a, b. They're shown signed here. It turns out that in the original VHDL, uh, you could only add signed or unsigned numbers, and they were defined in this Aerith VHD uh, program. Um, but everybody used standard logic uh, as the type for their signals, so uh, eventually they developed this unsigned um, VHD program which basically overloaded the plus sign so that when you use standard logic types it would behave like an unsigned or signed in this case. As we've seen there's no difference in the addition between unsigned and signed. You get the same answer. It's only whether the overflow flag will tell you whether the uh, answers are correct or not. But look how, how they actually implement it. This plus function, they make a variable bv, that's a, uh, which they're going to set to b down here, and sum, and they're signed a tick left down to zero. So a tick left means the uh, most significant bit. And then they just have a for loop for i and zero to a tick left, that's however many bits you have, sum sub i is a i exclusive void with b variable i exclusive void with the carry. Well that's just our logic equation that we derive for the sum and the carry if you remember when we did the Carnot map for the carry we actually derived this equation before we changed it into the exclusive or. It was a i anded with b i or a i anded with the carry or carry anded with the bi. That was carry i, which gets um, set to zero to begin with, and every time through the loop it's the new carry, which goes into here to produce the sum. So every time through the loop you're creating a full adder, exactly the same full adder we derived in previous lessons, and so you can make an n bit one by just making n copies of it. So every time you use the plus sign, say in this uh, program here, it actually implements, because you've called use IEEE sign, 
it actually implements in hardware a full adder of the same type that we've uh, designed previously.